Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be installing a very simple single pole uh, light switch. And I'm just going to show you the step-by-step -step process for how that works. So uh, these two outside uh, switches here are going to be for can lights. I'm going to put a dimmer on and I'm going to make another video about that. But this is just a single pole switch here uh, that we are going to be wearing uh, in the middle. Uh, this is <clears throat> how I prepared the box. So uh, before I... Um, when I was roughing in the wires and everything, this was my method to keep them all together. I have labels on the wires letting me know uh, where they come from and go to. And basically we have power coming in on one of these legs and power going up to the light. Now obviously before you uh, do this, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, get your power turned off. I have already verified that, so we're able to proceed. Now the reason this is uh, wired together right here with the copper um, conductors being twisted together here on the end, it's as if the switch was already turned on. So I could use temporary lighting as well as verify that I don't have any issues with the wiring. So I connected and plugged everything in and turned everything on before I uh, had the sheetrock done and then I left the circuits on during the drywall process and then anytime if they were to run a screw into a wire or something I could find out as soon as possible. So we're going to want to strip about three quarters of an inch of uh, insulation off of these. I had about a half inch already stripped and it doesn't actually matter which wire goes to which spot on the switch itself um, but for the sake of being able to remember it I feel like it's a good idea for the top terminal on your switch which I guess would be this one uh, to go to the light and the bottom terminal will be the power coming in, but it could work either way. So uh, we're going to go ahead and bend loops in the direction that the screw tightens uh, so that as, this, as you tighten the screw down, it tightens the, the copper wire around it. So there's going to be our top one. And here's our bottom one. And we're going to go ahead and uh, strip the sheathing off of this uh, ground wire as well. And I have spare neutral wires in the box that I pre-wired so that if I need to, um, if I need to use a switch that requires a neutral, I can do that at a future date in time. So. We're going to go ahead and snap these on here. Just make sure that you have this in the correct orientation. So right now it's technically off. It doesn't matter for the purposes of wiring it. Um, but it matters for having it in the correct orientation. Go ahead and get this top one snugged down. And the bottom one. And now we're going to connect the ground wire on the other side, right here. Go ahead and snug that one up. And now we're ready to fold the wires in. So we're going to try to keep the wires as much in the center here as possible so that we don't get them confused with the, or so that the box is just more orderly I guess is the main reason. So I'm going to fold them all the way up to the top in the back and then do a second fold here. And you want to be able to get this pushed all the way into position without using the screws because uh, you don't want to use the screws to tighten the, the switch in position because you could uh, short something out. So you want to be able to hold it there and make sure that everything uh, looks good inside the box before you proceed with attaching the switch. And of course, all the holes are filled with mud. There it is. Same thing on this side.
you want to just go just tight enough so that it doesn't slide back and forth. That's about it. Uh, these little dog ears out here, whatever you want to call them, help keep this switch facing straight out. So that's how you saw, install a single pole standard light switch. Um, click somewhere here and it should redirect you to go to the, uh, the video about installing the dimmer switch. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please rate it up and feel free to subscribe below and click the little bell icon. Talk to you later.